hi everyone so it's a tutorial on how you can root your galaxy s3 so with this method you can root most of the variants of the galaxy s3 like the international version the lt version and also and you can also root any android versions so this is one of the easiest and safest method to root your phone there will be no loss of data so to root your phone you must download the galaxy s3 toolkit from the link below in the description box and if you have any Samsung drivers or the Samsung keys installed on your PC you must uninstall it before rooting your phone and now just install the Galaxy S3 toolkit and run it and in your phone you must enable the USB debugging from settings developer options USB debugging and then leave your phone unplugged then you will need to choose your model and the build number that you are currently on so if your build number is not listed here then you should try the next build but, but it should be of the same version and of the same variant and now you must install the drivers so just hit one and hit one again and it, it will start installing drivers for your phone And after a while it will ask you to plug in your Galaxy S3 so just plug in your Galaxy S3 and it will install the rest of the drivers for you so after the drivers are installed you will be able to see the serial number of your phone on, on the top of the toolkit under the ADB mode if you can't see the serial number simply exit the toolkit and start it again then you might be able to see the serial number if the serial number doesn't show up for you then try reinstalling the drivers so after you have seen the serial number hit 2 to root your phone then hit 3 to root your phone and install the recovery mode and now you must choose between two different recovery mode so I am going with the TWRP recovery mode and now you need to choose between two different super user so I am going with the super user of the chain fire so just select whichever recovery mode and the super user you want and then continue to root and now just type yes if it asks you to root your phone again so after a while you will see a message displayed on the screen that you need to install a file via through Odin to your phone so there will be three steps so just follow the steps there you need to look at the file from the folder that you have installed the toolkit on just follow the steps on the toolkit make sure all the steps are followed and wait until you see the reset option on the Odin your device will reboot after installing it on your phone so just exit the Odin after you have installed it perfectly then the toolkit will install all the other required files on your phone and after a while your phone will reboot and you will have the super user installed on your phone that means your phone is rooted so that's pretty much on how you can root your phone so if you have any query just comment below or read me on facebook and subscribe for more videos so thanks for watching have a nice day